here it is September 21st and I am in the bush and I must keep fishing one of my favorite things to do and uh, I'm at a lake where I wasn't really expecting to come to but some things have changed um, I came up here for a few days to fish the absolute best musky fishing lake in the world but the absolute best musky fishing lake in the world is very difficult to well it's impossible to get into after heavy rains because it's got a long sloping bank pretty steep that you have to go down to get your boat in the water and then of course you have to drive back up it to get your boat out and it is clay so when it rains you don't get in or out and it's been raining all day so um Today's Saturday, and it's supposed to have a chance, a little bit of chance of rain tomorrow again, so it'll probably be Monday. It's supposed to be in the upper 60s and sunny on Mondays. So that's probably the day that I'm going to go to that lake. So I'm here, and uh, this particular lake that I'm at right now is a lake that I have never fished before, but my son was in here a couple weeks ago. Him and his wife caught some pretty nice muskies in here, and it's one that I've always wanted to go to. So I, I drove the hour and a half uh, to get back in here, even though it's only two hours till dark, just because I wanted to come in and explore it, fish a little bit for muskies this evening, and then uh, probably spend the day in here tomorrow too, um, if it, the prospects look good for this evening. So thanks for being along with me. This should be really fun, and uh, I'm really looking forward to hopefully seeing some big muskies at the side of the boat, and maybe even one in the net.
I have no idea what that fish is right there. He's silver on the sides. He's got a rounded tail like a northern. He's got pointy fins like a musky. I literally have no idea what this is. That is a Holy smokes. I don't know what I got here. It's some kind of a cross or something. Like the opposite of a tiger muskie. Maybe it was a female northern and a male muskie or something. No more northerns. Did you settle for a big smallmouth. right over there. It's a good one. Oh! Oh! I lost him. Dang it! Dang it! Oh crap! Oh man! fish was 40 inches. I don't know if I did something wrong or what. I got him halfway to the boat and he was just gone. I just happened to glance over there not too far from where I had cast and I saw his tail and fin and back come out of the water and go back down. And I was like, man, that's a 40-inch muskie. So I cast it right there, and sure enough, he hit it like on, thir on the third crank. Well, that was another close call. Definitely coming back tomorrow, and I'm definitely going to catch a muskie. people. It's a different day today, that's for sure. Things have really changed. During the night it rained again, cold front went through, dropped about 15 degrees, uh, pretty stout northwest wind, and uh, I guess you could say not exactly ideal fishing conditions, especially for musky fishing, but we are going fishing anyway. Uh, as you saw yesterday, I was on this lake for a pretty short time, but uh, caught some pretty nice northerns, about 18 inch smallmouth bass, which was a nice bonus. I caught a little, what I believe is a silver blue pike, which is an extremely rare fish. The only other one I've ever seen in person was one uh, my son caught a 39 incher when he was like 12 years old on Spirit Lake, Iowa. What I learned yesterday about this lake is that there's some pretty big, expansive weed flats and a lot of coontail and other weeds that are growing below the surface and I can just kind of drift across these areas because uh, they're pretty big and just drift and uh, and cast a bucktail and uh, pull some pike and and uh, hopefully 
a couple of north, a couple of muskies out of uh, some of these weed beds. So that's the plan anyway. We'll see if it works, and uh, let's get on the water and make something happen. Maybe we can shake a muskie loose. All right, I am starting out today with one of my favorite lures. This is a baby bulger. It's a lure that's made by my son Dawson. I have caught hundreds and hundreds of muskies on the baby bulger and uh, this one's got a gold blade and a black blade and then I got a orange and chartreuse skirt on it which should be for should be good for today with this little bit stained water visibility on this lake's about three feet and it's clouds mostly but there's peaks of sun going to be coming through it looks like and so uh, water temperature still about 64 so we should uh, be able to get the fish moving pretty good. So let's just uh, drift for a while here and cross these weed flats and see what happens. I don't think you saw me catch it because I went back here to show it up close to you like this and uh, the screen was black and it said the memory card is full. So in the meantime, while I'm changing the memory card out, this uh, boat drifted up against the shore. But anyway, it's a 30 inch muskie, very pretty colored fish and hey, we're all about muskies today so I'm very happy with it. All right. Let's, here, here. Let's see if we can get this boat off, off the shore here. <laughs> It's a silver blue pike. I'm sure that's what it is. It's a little bit bigger than the one I caught yesterday. 
Look at that. That is fantastic. Never thought I'd catch one of these and then I caught two. I'm sure that's what it is. It, that's the only thing it can be. Well, I guess it's about time to call it a day. It's been a fun day of fishing, uh, despite the fact we didn't catch much, but, you know, caught a lot of northerns. Some pretty nice ones. We're, uh, you know, after a severe cold front like this, you know, your expectations aren't very high. But, uh, I did catch one 30 inch muskie and lost uh, two others, uh, about the same size or maybe slightly bigger. Um, I caught two, what I think are silver blue pike, or some people call them, I've heard them called silver pike or blue pike. They're extremely rare, and uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. If you know something about silver pike, blue pike, silver blue pike, uh, you know, I guess when I get back to cell service, I'm going to do some research online and try to find out more about them. But uh, drop a comment below if, uh, if you've ever caught one. Let's see a picture of it. And, uh, you know, if you think I should be using some different lures, you got a favorite lure you'd like to see me use or something like that, you know, let's, let's hear about it. Drop a comment below. I uh, appreciate your input. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not already, then hit that subscribe button for crying out loud. we got more videos coming.